Now for this part of the question, part C, we've got to find e of x squared. And to do something like this, you've got to remember this equation. The variance of a random variable x is equal to e of x squared minus the mean e of x all squared. Because we should know this for a uniform distribution and we should know what e of x is also for a uniform distribution. Knowing these two values we can find out e of x squared. So what is the variance of x and what is the mean e of x? Well just as a recap if you've got your uniform distribution going between a and b e of x the mean is equal to a plus b divided by 2. It's in fact the mean of these two values, it's a point midway between them. And when it comes to the variance of x it can be shown that it is a minus b all squared divided by 12. So if we apply this then to the distribution that we've got here, for the variance of x that we've got 7 minus minus 2, let's just write that as 7 minus minus 2, that is all squared and it's divided by 12. It equals e of x squared minus e of x, the mean, all squared. Well e of x is going to be minus 2 plus 7 divided by 2 or you could do it as 7 minus 2 all divided by 2 and that is squared. So the mean is in fact 5 over 2, 2 and a half, okay? So if you rearrange this for e of x squared you're going to get this term plus this term and if you work that out you end up with, well, this term here turns out to be in fact 81 over 12 Let's just put that in and then this term 5 over 2 all squared that's going to be 25 over 4 but if you do add those two together you get exactly 13. Okay so there's your value for e of x squared.